Hey everyone, it's Dr. Sean Vandeviver here. I'm the creator of Exo Academy, and I'm a practicing dentist in Michigan. And I'd like to just show you kind of an example of one of the courses that I just put up at Exo Academy. And this is a printed denture course, and you can see we're going to make a monolithic denture. We're also going to split that design up between the teeth and the denture base so you can make printed dentures right in your own office. And to do that, uh, you need a powerful dental CAD design software. And that's what ExoCAD can do for you. So in the beginning of this course, uh, I talk about how do you define your job when you first open ExoCAD. And for this case, we designed it as uh, Pontic and we didn't scan any wax up. We also review the other settings like distance to gingiva, distance to antagonist, distance to neighbors, and the thickness for your gingiva, and how that's going to affect our final printed denture design. I also give you some tips, tricks, kind of hot keys on how you can quickly define a job in this case, defining all of the teeth in an arch really quickly. So in order to set something up, it really should only take you a minute or two. Going through the whole workflow, we're going to go through this uh, right now in this video. Um, we're right now first aligning our jaw scans. And in this case, I took an impression of an upper kind of trial smile. The teeth aren't where they should be, but it allows me to get uh, occlusion it allows me to get a bite registration something that the patient can put in their mouth and bite together and have it be a repeatable stable position so I've scanned that impression and as you can see uh, I don't have the palate for that denture but I've got the teeth still there so I gotta remove the teeth and right now I have to uh, flip it so that red surface is actually beige the way that you do that is by entering uh, an expert mode of ExoCAD and swapping those surfaces. So the inside is the outside and the outside is the inside um, when you're done. So now all of the teeth are red instead of that beige. Uh, but now we have another problem. Now we've got to get rid of just the teeth so that we can expose the palate, um, expose the edentulous area that our denture base will sit on. And so this is another uh, area of ExoCAD, the 3D data editor. This is where you can edit STL files or edit your scan files to remove any extra data, uh, close any holes or gaps in the scan, gaps in the data that you might have. And uh, in this part of the course, I talk about how you can separate parts of a single scan so that you can just erase everything that you don't want all at once. So that's uh, what this part of the course is about. And that's just one of the added functions of ExoCAD, not just designing crowns and bridges. Crowns and bridge work, I should say. So now we have our upper arch in relation to the lower arch and I brought back in that original scan so you can see the upper arch is in this in the same position and in this particular case I wanted the midline right on uh, the rest of the teeth weren't in occlusion great but the midline is is great so now we move forward in the step-by-step -step wizard and we're designing the inner surface of the denture you have lots of options you could make an offset distance if you wanted to make, let's say, custom trays with a very specific uh, relief amount for your wash material. You can do that in ExoCAD. For this case, since we're going to be making uh, a denture, we don't want that offset too great. So we make that inner surface, and now, after we've got that, we're able to place our denture teeth. And this is where your artistry really comes in. You can see that ExoCAD places the teeth initially, uh, but it's not a good proposal um, right, out, right out of the gate. So you've got to move those teeth around to where you want. Uh, move them to where the occlusion is going to be spot on. 
So there are a couple ways that you can place the teeth and uh, in this particular case we're using the chain mode so all of the teeth kind of move together and those green dots you can lock certain areas um, and move others. So green means that you can move it, red means that it's locked and in the order that you lock and unlock those teeth you can move uh, move certain teeth while maintaining contact so that's a really nice feature of the chain mode and so here you can see I'm just trying to rearrange uh, just the posterior teeth because the anteriors are in the right position after that uh, you can continue to modify your designs specifically adding anatomy uh, bulking out certain areas or smoothing or reducing certain areas and that's called free-forming where we can use virtual wax in certain areas another nice feature of these anatomic regions is once you have the teeth placed you can move just the cervical areas of the pontix right now I'm placing teeth using uh, the symmetry mode so anything I do on the left side will be repeated on the right side and you can see that and now I just want to do uh, the left side to really get the bite how I like in general once I've got all of the teeth placed now I can start to modify on a more local level uh, individual tooth anatomy and right here I'm pulling in all of the cervical areas so that when we make our denture um, they're not going to be those stumps aren't going to be sticking out you can pull those in while maintaining the um, cusp tips and occlusion so you can modify those the cervical areas independent of the occlusal and incisal edges and then here I just kind of smooth the teeth out to make nice um, smooth transitions between the occlusal surface and the cervical base of our denture teeth. And there are lots of other modifications you can do just by moving cusps, ridges, grooves, uh, and certain anatomical landmarks. You can also paint and exclude areas and ExoCAD has a nice feature to automatically adapt the occlusion to have a certain contact, a certain intersection uh, area or depth as well as uh, the neighboring teeth contacts. When we make the gums, the virtual gingiva, um, the denture base is really just one giant uh, section of gingiva. So we take our scan, our jaw scan that we had from earlier, and we made our denture base surface, and now we just outline the extent of our denture base. That's all we do. ExoCAD does all of the work for us in making uh, a denture base that completely envelops the denture teeth or the pontix. But if you'd like to characterize it some more, you can smooth um, and use the rubberized tools to push and pull either small or large areas of the gingiva. This part right here, I just like to paint and add uh, virtual gingiva so it's not thin in areas. So I uh, add where it's showing through and I smooth uh, the ridges, maybe make some uh, gingival margins, maybe add some tooth roots to add a little bit of characterization to the base. Make some minor tweaks and adjustments and go forward in the wizard and ExoCAD makes our virtual wax up or our complete denture in one file.
If we want to separate the teeth, there are a couple more steps that we need to take. Um, in the ExoCAD denture module, uh, it will automatically produce an offset for us, automatically separate the teeth, and automatically give us a denture base to hold those teeth, a denture base with tooth pockets. But if we're just using the base ExoCAD basic module, um, we're going to have to come up with those surfaces and those designs independently, come up with them ourselves. So what I do is start a new job with the teeth and we are saving all of these and we're going to create an offset surface. So we're exporting all of these teeth, but in order to create a clean removal of the teeth uh, from the denture, we need to make them a little bit smaller. So this is reducing those teeth. So you can see here we've got a denture with smaller teeth on it. So we need that in order to remove the full contour teeth that you see right there. If we were going to simply remove the teeth directly from the denture, remove those pontic denture teeth, then we wouldn't have any space in between the denture base and the teeth. So it's important that we create an offset. This is going to be an extra space in between the denture base and the denture teeth so we can insert them more easily. So for that, we're gonna start a new job with just defining teeth, just defining pontics, and we're actually going to use our denture teeth as the jaw scan. So you can see we have, we're looking at the bottom of those denture teeth, and here's where we can define how much of a distance we want. I'm going to use a special tool here, the cut view tool, and you can see now we've got a uniform distance in between or around our teeth. So we need to make that offset surface at a very specific um, coordinate space and then we're going to make that surface, we're going to make it a, a solid object. And we do that with another program called Mesh Mixer. I'm opening Mesh Mixer here and bringing in that surface, that offset surface, and I'm going to make it, you can see that it's going to be in the same orientation as our denture, so the exact uh, same coordinate space, the, the exact same position, uh, coordinate position. And so there we've got a solid surface now for that offset surface, and we simply take the denture that we had with those smaller teeth, and we're going to remove that surface from them. In the end we've got a denture base with tooth pockets and an offset surface that we can print the teeth and put them in beautifully. You can see more at exocademy.com.